right? So as we have this huge mirror of Mercury in this moment where it's all about coming into this third chakra and power, we are building to this literal, it's so mind blowing that it can be mind defying. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what I was writing. Right. Mind blowing can become mind defying. (laughs) And so I, I'm just, I'm sharing that with you because we're at that moment of, are, are you ready to have your mind blown or are you ready to have your mind defied? And what I mean by that is, is that if you keep arguing with it, you'll stay stuck in it. Or are you ready to just go, you really, you have to let go because what we're talking about is so outside of everything we have ever been taught is real or normal or we should understand. And yet there, there are too many of us who are on the undeniable other side of this, not only completely aware of what's happening and seeing it, but able to actually be aware of the totality of everything that's happening at once. Mm-hmm. And to have gone beyond our own self-limitation, to have gone beyond our own moment of saying, wait a minute, I'm doubting myself because, and having looked at all of those becauses, and that's what Mercury is doing right now. That's what's amplifying right now, is that all of those becauses are in front of us. Because just if we can step, step, and- step it. And what I mean by step, step, step it is say, look, Go back to the foundation of your spiritual essence, which is you absolutely know you are an eternal being having an experience through a body of form. You got to start there, right? So let's building block one, right? The four knowns, right? Let's just bring out the four knowns, right? Because that's what it is, the four knowns. So, you know, I am not this body, right? So, so we could be moving through the four, four knowns and maybe, maybe as I'm sharing that with you, maybe that's what we need to do because that builds what I'm talking about, which is once you accept, okay, I know this, then I know, I know that past lives are not fiction. I know that past lives are absolutely real. I know for a fact that, you know, this is a culmination of many other experiences. I'm aware of that at, at whatever level, whether it's an essence or not, because that's a building block of consciousness. It really is because it expands the limitation of this yeah. is it. Right. 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 And so we talk about that and we build upon that getting to the moment then, well, if all of that, if I'm really authentic, right? If I'm really nakedly authentic, if I'm really walking that walk, then if I honestly do own all of that, if I really do own all of that, then of course, I am living in the fifth dimension and the fifth dimension is real. And if my left brain still needs more demonstration, Einstein at this moment right now is being absolutely validated beyond anything. And let us not forget, he was one of the greatest proponents of vegetarianism. He also said it was the only way we would save the planet. Let's pay attention to what this beautiful, beautiful, incredible being brought into the planet right? Because that's yeah. to me, the greatest left brain of all is speaking from the universe saying, pay attention. So I think that's where we're at right now. Wow. And I, I think that this week, like last night, were you there when I, oh, mm-hmm. Jess, it was horrible when I saw those clubs beating my head and crushing my skull. And, uh, yeah. and I, here I am teaching you guys sharing all of this. And I kid you not, I am having a completely other experience right here. And it was this nasty wooden long club with um, metal spikes, like hand chiseled black metal spikes. And I remember the minute I felt it hit me and I went down while I was teaching you guys. Wow. And, and, you know, and that's happening a lot lately. I'm remembering when I was in this little cave, it was like a, I think it was maybe, I want to say it was Europe somewhere. I'm thinking it was France. It might've been why I always wanted to go back to Paris. Um, But I was, it, it, it was a witch thing. And I was in this underground prison where they had like hacked out like whole, like, like somebody had hand hewn like a cave and there was a heavy metal gate in front of me. And all I could do is sit there as I felt my body rotting away and dying. And it was a long, slow, horrible death. And I just remember sitting there 
was nothing I could do. In the clothes, they dragged me in on, and that was it. And it took like months for that to happen. And so what it gave me was an opportunity because I finally had to get to the point where there was nothing I could do about what's happening to the physical body. It gave me the opportunity to spend those many months being and, and really, really coming into the presence and the empowerment we can call forward. And so I've had a few others come forward in front of me as well. All of them, you know, goodness gracious, I think it's why I'm so hypersensitive to pain in this lifetime is because I had no idea how many lifetimes I was tortured. And so we are all at a moment where that's all bullshit. None of that matters. And it doesn't mean that they're not, and see, even as I'm sharing that to you right now, they're trying again. And that's how they're coming after me this week. And this wow. is what they Wow. Right? Is that they're putting all of that in front of me. Like right now, I feel like I'm drowning. And in this lifetime, I actually did try to kill myself by drowning when wow. I was 21. Yeah. Wow. And that's what I feel like right now. That's why I know that feeling. And so wow. I'm sharing this with you be, uh, for a lot of reasons. Number one, because they said it so well last night in the insolment. No one is immune from what's happening right now. So to believe you are is the... It, epitome of spiritual activism yeah. and egoism and 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 absolute absolute knowing that you're refusing to look at what's really happening anyone who can't look at it and own it and that's why i'm doing it and so so and as i'm sharing this with you remember last night they said we will connect with you um with the tone of your home well as i'm sharing that with you right now i'm hearing that and it's like suspending me Right. And um, so just, I guess my question is, do we share to that level? Like, should I be the one to kind of lead the charge and say, okay, look, we're, none of us is immune. Here's how they're, how they're really trying to pull me. So well, yeah, this is all beautiful. Yeah. Uh, if you share this on soul mirrors, I think absolutely. Like this is really important um, to be sharing. And I know everybody is tuned in you know everyone's kind of keyed up this week and wants to hear me included like this is all just like i'm writing notes and just reflecting because it's it's huge it's not just about it's not just about you know the 31st being like the most powerful day of the year i mean you said this was like a six thousand something year event um we're all feeling this, Kira. I mean, it's, it's Jess, and it's hiding in plain sight. You do understand that by bringing this in on the 31st. This is that moment where, and why are they showing me this week all the times I've been tortured, killed, whatever, for being a witch, you know, when all I was doing was helping yeah. women deliver babies, you know, or whatever. Right. Um, and so what, what's so important here to remember is that this is the greatest attack of women you will ever see. Yeah. You're never going to see the divine feminine attack more than you will starting right now. And, you know, I woke up this morning to see, you know, I don't, I don't look at mainstream or anything. And I'd actually been off even deeper than normal, not even looking at email for a few days. And the first thing I saw was what the United States has done to their Supreme Court. This is the greatest attack on women you have ever Did seen. you hear what happened to our um, governor too? There was uh, yes. militia groups that tried to yes. kidnap her, that like literally, woman. and put her on yeah, trial. I, honey, I saw it and my heart sank that nothing was affirmed about it because it was She's more been than trying. Yeah. yeah. She's been really trying to call it out, you know, I mean, She's God definitely, really, truly, I mean, she really is exemplifying a strength and an empowerment in the face of all of it and, and calling on it to be called out, you know, but it's not, but it's, you know, but, but she's in a, she's in a feminine rapper. But, and yeah, that's why I'm saying that exactly. she's happening. being attacked because she's a woman. That's it. This is beyond politics. This, well, that's she's a woman. Right. It, and that's the greater issue. It's had this been a man, 
there would there would be a very different it would still be a malicious response because of the political dimension right. but because she's a woman it's hitting harder this is yes. the what the moment when and it, it really is a call to arms and that's what we're building up to this saturday on the day of the witch take that in yes you know, I, right i mean take that in on the day where it's okay to be horrid and gory and and to be as evil as you can be and 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 in the name of fun we're just joking and this of course the consciousness wheels would collide on that day because yeah. that day carries all around the world it's not just limited to one country and it has its own ideology and it calls out this is like christmas for that type of energy so think about this if you have the fourth dimension right now squeezing down onto the third this is the fourth dimension's christmas right they're gathering this will pull out even those who only go to church once a year you know what i'm saying and so right this, right this is why jess this is why it is so important that from the minute the sun and it has to be done in the light it has to be done during the day that the yeah. minute the sun comes up until that sun goes down it you check out from all technology you just check out check out for the day of all technology that means no interface with technology you remember what it's like to live a day without the dependence of technology and that you give yourself the gift of presence through silence now you can listen to music you can dance you can do whatever you want we're not saying sit in prayer we're not saying don't eat make a feast right. share with your friends smile learn how to understand each other in other ways write notes but it's a it's a moment that says i'm going to take this one moment to let the earth know earth mine heaven and above know that i am here and i am not addicted to the distraction and can you give yourself just even one day to look at that addiction one day to notice how many times it calls during the day to re really recognize and remember i am and then the minute the sun goes down turn it all on you know do whatever you do whatever your heart calls you to do but it has to be done during the day and so that's the other passion that i'm feeling we need